Well hey there friends, today I am teaming up with a few of my YouTube mom friends and we are talking about fitness and health. So this will be a series that takes place for the next few weeks every Friday. We'll each share a different perspective on a few different topics dealing with health and fitness. This was the brainchild of Adrienne from Crafty Mom. I will have her channel linked down below as well as all of the other mamas who are participating in this collab. So today I'm going to share with you my five beginner tips for going sugar free. Let's do it. Tip number one, decide that you're just gonna do it and you're gonna stick with it. The thing about going sugar free is that it's really easy to sort of fall off the wagon. Sugar is everywhere and if you're deciding that you want to go sugar free, I just want to encourage you to stick with it. I'm going to assume that when you clicked on this video, you wanted to learn some tips about going sugar free. I'm sure you already have a reason in your mind why you want to go sugar free, so that is not what this video is going to be about at all. I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a doctor and I'm not an expert, I'm simply just a mom who decided to go sugar free and this is my experience on how I did it. When you go sugar free, your body starts to go through a detox process and sometimes that can be really difficult. When you add sugar back into your diet, it makes that detox process take longer and it becomes harder. I personally went cold turkey. I removed all the sugar out of my diet and I never looked back. Of course, I'm human and every once in a while I do have treats. The important thing is, is when you are actually going sugar free, that you do your best to stick with your plan. If you aren't somebody who thinks you can go sugar free all at one shot, I would encourage you to start with one meal and stick with that. For instance, breakfast. Breakfast can be a really sugary sort of meal. When you think of syrup on pancakes or waffles, the sugar in yogurt, and of course the sugar that we put in our coffee. However, there are lots of other breakfast foods that you can eat that are sugar free. Things like omelets, scrambled eggs, toast with some butter, oatmeal. There are plenty of choices that you can have for breakfast that would help to make going sugar free easy if you need to start with just one meal. And then as you get comfortable with that, add another meal in. So pretty soon you're going to find that you don't need that sugar at all. Tip number two, have an alternative sweetener ready to go. I can't stress this enough. I love my food sweet. I love my coffee to be sweet. I love desserts, I love treats. I can't get away from it. I love those things. But I needed to be able to add that sweetener back into my life in a sugar-free way. So like I said, I'm not a nutritionalist, but I'm going to leave you a link to a video from Mind Over Munch. She explains all of the sugars and sugar alternatives in such a really great way that will help you decide what your sweetener of choice will be. So I do a stevia based sweetener as well as xylitol and erythritol. Mind Over Munch explains all the sugars really well, so I'll leave her link down below. Tip number three, beware of hidden sugars. They are everywhere, and I mean everywhere. You're gonna get really comfortable with reading your labels. You just have to. Flip that package of food around and check the label to see if there is sugar inside. Sugars come in all sorts of different names, so make sure that you are familiar with what those names are and if they are hidden in the item that you are going to consume. Make sure that you check drinks, sauces, crackers, and even your salt. Yes, even your salt. I ran out of my favorite pink Himalayan sea salt, so I was just using regular table salt until I read the package and sure enough, there was sugar in it. You may need to get creative with coming up with some alternatives for your favorite sauces, spices, condiments, and dressings. The good news is there are tons of really great recipes out there for those things. Tip number four. Make sugar-free yummy treats. There are all sorts of delicious recipes that you can create for your favorite treats. Anything that you can possibly think of, someone has recreated it sugar-free. 
I'm going to list a lot of my favorites down below. I actually have an entire Pinterest board just dedicated to sugar-free treats. There's absolutely no need to deprive yourself. I found that when I am best able to stay on my eating plan and to stay sugar-free, I have got to have some alternatives inside of my pantry or my freezer or my fridge that are sweet and yummy and delicious. It helps curb those cravings that I still get even a year later for the naughty stuff. Tip number five, expect it to be hard at least for a little while. Your body is giving up something it craves. Depending on how much sugar you've been consuming prior to going free, this could be kind of a really difficult road for you. The first few days, you might feel sluggish, you might feel tired, you might get a headache, you might be irritable, and you might be grumpy. However, that is temporary. Temporary! It will go away. For me, I was in a sugar detox for just a few days, and I was someone who loves my pop, I loved sweets, candy, brownies, cookies, you name it, I loved it. And it really just took my body a few days of getting rid of those things in order to feel amazing. So while those initial days, maybe a week or so, might be difficult, I just want to encourage you to keep going because you know what, at the other side of that detox is such a good feeling. You feel healthy, you feel strong, you feel energized, and you feel revitalized. So make sure that you use some of those tips that I gave you throughout this video to help you in that process. Make sure that you've got some yummy treats available. Make sure that you have an alternative sweetener that you like, and it all reverts back to tip number one was decide that you're going to do this and stick with it. You can do it. I'm excited for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'm not an expert, but I will give you my experience and any advice that I have encountered along the way. Make sure you check out the links down below for all of the other YouTubers participating in this club, as well as a bunch of resources for helping you to go sugar-free. Hope you all have a great day, and I will chat with you later. Bye!